Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Stormworks, and today we're going to be taking a look at the submissions from the Grand Staircase Challenge. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Now, Jake Hillen was supposed to be here, but unfortunately he's a bit busy right now, so we're just going to go ahead with the video anyway, and we're going to pick a winner for the Grand Staircase Challenge. So let's go. So we're going to start out with Nikki G's submission. So this looks to be the Grand Staircase from the RMS Britannic. Obviously, the Britannic never really got to RMS phase, but we get to see it here in this wonderful recreation. So, obviously, it's got the wonderful uh, organ there, and it also has the Grand Staircase itself, the cherub, the clock, as well as this nice detail here with the raised railing that you see in all of the renders and uh, detailed images of the uh, Grand Staircase that would have been inside the uh, Britannic. So, there we are. So it is a very nice space. The only thing I would say that it's really missing is a dome of sorts. It doesn't look like the dome is fully filled out here, but that's fine. And there's another issue where um, this is an area where you can kind of get stuck. As you can see, there we are. I'm getting stuck, so I have to kind of crouch. Not sure if that's intentional or not. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but uh, yeah, there we are. But it does look pretty nice. I like the detail with the uh, raised railing here, which is accurate. So there we are. So great job, Nikki G. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next submission. So now we're moving on from a small space to quite a large space with this creation. Now this was created by somebody that I'm not even going to try to pronounce their name, but I'll put it up on screen. And this is really, really cool. It's got a lot of detail to it. And uh, really, it just looks amazing. So I guess we'll start with the cherub. As you can see, this is a really interesting design for the cherub. And I do quite like it. I know that Jake Hillen pointed this out when we were just kind of walking through the builds. But yeah, this looks pretty cool. And not to mention, this is a really nice design for the molding or the carving as well. So that is very nice. We've got the wonderful dome up ahead with the chandelier in the middle and the clock. It is really good. Now going up to the boat deck level, there is a lot of details to take a look at here. The A deck level is sort of barren. Well, it is barren. We do have the staircase, but nothing else there. But the boat deck level is very nice. As you can see, we have a piano. We've got some chairs and whatnot. It is really well done, so congrats to this creator. We're going to go ahead, we're going to move on to the next one, and we'll see what that one has to offer. So this was created by Fades05, and this submission is pretty interesting because it uses a bit of a darker wood. Now, I know in the first submission by uh, Nikki G, the Britannic Grand Staircase, it was also a little bit dark, and does remind me, at least this one reminds me, of the Grand Staircase from the game... Um, titanic adventure out of time so yeah that is pretty cool now this is the first submission where we get to see an actual elevator lobby so that is very cool but we're going to be focusing on the staircase and it is also cool to see the underside of the staircase as well now up on the boat deck level you can see we do have some doors as well as the clock there it's a pretty decent it's a decent staircase we got a dome overhead and whatnot and we have some exits and entrances so yeah there is that submission there let's move on to the next one Alright, this next submission comes in from the sailboat guy, and this is very interesting because they have used a technique of putting pieces of the banister on pivots and rotating them to get this really cool little angle piece. So, this is very nice. I have yet to see this in any of the other builds, so this is very cool. So, if we make our way up the stairs, you can see there is no paint block here for the actual clock. It's just a piece there, which is cool. And as we make our way up, we've got some tiling. It is very nice, and interestingly enough, they have chosen to use this more orange wood. Now, I don't know if they're just choosing it because of the lighting, they used it based off reference material, but this kind of reminds me of the acacia wood in Minecraft, but we'll move on. Now, this next submission comes in from Koenig754. Now, I do notice it is lacking a little bit of detail, but it does have the staircase here, and that's what matters. So, you can see it does lack the curves, it's just a, a staircase that goes up and to the left and right, What's also interesting about it is that it has this center banister, which um, obviously isn't on any of the Olympic class liners, but it is an interesting design for maybe a concept build. So yeah, I would say that that is pretty cool. I've never really seen that before, but uh, yeah, good job, Konix. And obviously we have the clock and the dome, but they aren't really a dome. It's just kind of like a flat uh, skylight there. But uh, yeah, there we are, so we'll move on. Now this next submission comes in from Bob Shipping Lines, and this is very reminiscent of a staircase I have seen before, and that is in the film Raise the Titanic. 
Now, I say that because this has massive vaulted ceilings. Now, obviously, the real ocean liners, Olympic, Titanic, Britannic, did not have this high of a ceiling, but it is an interesting design for sure. Now, the staircase, once again, is very reminiscent of the one from Raise the Titanic. So we'll go up here and you'll notice that they have a very nice detailed clock as well, which is very cool. So turning this way, we kind of have to get up this precarious staircase. I almost fell over there. That wouldn't be good. I would have broken my legs. But uh, there we are. We've got the dome. We've got the clock, the banister. And that is pretty much it for this build. So let's move on to the next one. Now, this one comes in from Ice Monster 360. So as you can see, this looks pretty decent. Now, I know Ice Monster has built some ships that we've reviewed in the past. But uh, without taking that into consideration, this build is pretty pretty darn good it uh, has a lot of the features that you know the titanic or olympic grand staircase would have obviously this is not the britannic one and uh, we've only seen one britannic one i was hoping we could see more different variants but uh, it's fine what we got we got lots of submissions we've got another one to take a look at after this but uh, yeah this is the titanic or olympic grand staircase we'll just call it the titanic one for now but uh, as you can see we've got the clock up here it is painted on We've got the wonderful chairs and everything, and we've got the dome, and I notice that the chandelier actually has some extra detail around it as well, so very good. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the next submission. Now this one comes in from CC1146, and this is an entire ship, but uh, I'm interested to see what the ship has in store, so let's go inside. Now this one is rocking around a little bit, um, which is interesting, but as you can see, we have the staircase here. Now this staircase goes down quite a ways, but we're just going to go ahead and look at this level because obviously all the other levels are mainly the A deck and boat deck level. So we're going to go ahead and look, and as you can see, we've got a custom kind of honor and glory crowning time uh, clock here, and that looks pretty good. We've got the staircase rounding around. Now obviously this is being based off the... Uh, the Olympic class liners, uh, grand staircase, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty decent. And I don't know if they built an entire ship for this video, but if they did, you didn't have to do that. But uh, yeah, I do appreciate the effort that you put into it. So let's go ahead and let's announce the winner. All right, so just before I announce the winner, I do want to say that you guys are awesome for submitting stuff because if you didn't, I would have nothing to review. I was kind of sitting here a little bit worried before I was going to release the Grand Staircase announcement video that no one was going to really submit and then I'd have to say, well, nobody submitted and that's very unfortunate, but no, you guys came out and you submitted so many builds and I appreciate it so much and you guys all got a shout out for doing it, so thank you once again, but uh, let's go to the winner. So the winner is Ice Monster 360 and obviously this build really does bring it all together. We've got the A deck, the boat deck level, we've got the grand staircase, we've got little intricate details, they're all coming together. Now even if you didn't win, don't take it personally, this is just a vote based on the realism level and whatnot. You guys did an awesome job with all your submissions, we saw some great ones, and you guys are all awesome for submitting. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time guys, goodbye.